Okay, let's look at customizing our transport panel. You show and hide the transport panel up here, or you can hit F2 on your keyboard. You notice when the transport panel shows up inside of Cubase, it defaults to showing all these windows, and it's actually really big and long, and it takes up a lot of real estate on the computer. But you'll see there's a whole bunch of uh, settings in here you may not be using, um, and each one of these individual we have tutorials about. This is our markers. Um, you can also have a marker setting up here on the toolbar. This helps me to skip quickly to markers. So if you're using this, keep it showing. If you're not using it, uh, you can hide it, make the transport a little bit smaller. This is our play order track, which helps us to navigate quickly on our play order track. All of these that we're looking at can be shown up here on the toolbar. I'm not working with my play order track right now, so I'll hide that. Let's look at some other ones. This is a scrub wheel, which is really neat. I use that a lot when I'm working in picture. But if you're not using it, you should just hide that. Oh, by the way, on that, there's a slow scrub. This one, and then there's a quicker one. And then there's like a plus and minus on it. Scrub wheel's really neat. But if you're not using it, you should hide it. Uh, what else do we have on here? We have two time bases. I like to keep one set to bars and beats and one keep kept to minutes and seconds. So I can see how far along I am in the song, both measure-wise and time-wise. By the way, up here on this timeline, you can change this timeline right now. I have it set for bars and beats, but I can right-click and select seconds. So it's common for me to reach up here, especially if I'm working on sync to t picture, like TV show or movie, to come over here and switch to uh, time to see how long my song is. We saw this in another tutorial. This is all of our auto punching. Um, I only show that when I'm using it. We can right click and we can hide that. Hide this record record mode over here we can hide that and then this over here is our locators so you see we can go through and every one of these different tools on the transport bar can be hidden or shown here's our locators which is that little bar over there I only use that when I'm really auto punching or auto recording and then you can also show all if you get a little messed up and get lost you can click show all it has several different presets you can click show transport buttons, show buttons and time display. These are really neat. Dual time displays, you know, you could use this for whatever you want. Or we could go back to show all. So we mentioned all of these. Uh, we have our tempo track, which we had in another tutorial, and we have our click track turning on and off your click track here. So that's pretty much customizing the transport panel. And you can save presets also. The way you set presets is by clicking, right clicking on the transport panel and then selecting setup. These are all the ones that are being shown right now. I can remove these or I can move them around. This is hiding that one. This is hiding that one. This is hiding that one. And then I can save it as a name. Custom transport. I save uh, different types. You look over here now, you'll see that I have my custom. I save different presets on my transport panel for uh, recording and editing and mixing. So I can just switch over here and, you know, get the transport panel that I want with all the settings on it. You can also right click and go back to the default setting for your transport bar.